It seems as though it's something out of a science fiction novel, a device that can create, well, basically anything. But that's not the case, as the technology really does exist. And it's right here in central Alberta, at the Centre of Innovation in Manufacturing inside Red Deer College. 3D printing is, is you're seeing right here, a revolution, the start of a, a revolution in manufacturing. This is going to be something that's going to become more and more um, obvious. Uh, some people are working with it and have been working with it for, for a while. An idea is either created or replicated before sending to print. We have two different types of laser scanners. They're both handheld and you both can capture an entity. So if you've got an entity here, you can actually capture a three-dimensional model. So we have the science fiction replicator, so I can take that and I can print it. And it actually works pretty much the same as its more familiar cousin typically found in the office. It actually works just like a inkjet printer. An inkjet printer prints, let's say, a photograph by putting very square, tiny pixels of color on a piece of paper. So it embeds that color pixel. That's a two-dimensional tiny little dot and you have a whole array and it goes back and forth printing like that. This does exactly the same thing only instead of a two-dimensional spray of ink on paper, it extrudes a three-dimensional voxel instead of a pixel. It's a actually extruding plastic at a specific point according to a three-dimensional model. This technology not only opens the door for new ideas and innovations, but Coco says it also uses less material and may save the user money. It's fast and it's uh, re really inexpensive. The alternative, and I should say this, this is additive manufacturing. Now that's the big deal about this. Most manufacturing is subtractive and what I mean by that is we have CNC machines that take a hunk of metal and you have a whole bunch of tools and you robotically carve away and the next thing you have is an engine or a piece of an engine or you know pistons or a transmission or gears or whatever that's subtractive you're taking it away that's actually very expensive this is additive in that you start with nothing and you just print it out and as you can imagine this sort of technology will have its advantages in the medical field there's ones that print metals and i mean really tough titanium alloy metals and um, I can say that Nate is actually getting one of those and you can do things like a, a, an image from an MRI scan. So you get a CAT scan or an MRI scan and it's of your hip joint and you, need, you can get exactly what you need printed for that surgical implant that's going to go in. If someone would have told me 10 years ago that this technology would be possible today, well I probably would have told them, when pigs fly. For Go Central, I'm Kyle Plansky.